What's up guys, I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to episode 2 of Robotics Notes Elite. Now, in the last episode we got uh, through the beginning port- We got through the beginning portion of the game and uh, we got through a nice little scene where we uh, had a fight with the creator of uh, the fighting game. And uh, now we're here. Um, the first thing I'd like to do though before we start is uh, apologize that the volume was a bit low. Uh, I was going through and editing between episodes to see, uh, you know, to, to kind of put it out there because I wanted to get the first episode up, but my internet's out again for the like 8 millionth time, uh, so I can't upload it right now. But the point is, is that the audio for the last episode was super low, and I, I, I realize that now. Um, but I didn't really want to, I don't really think going back and changing anything is going to help at all, um, just because, uh, then my reactions to the game wouldn't be as genuine, uh, so, I'm sorry, but I did fix the audio this time, I believe, so, uh, we should be able to get it in a second where the, uh, voices will actually be loud enough to, uh, for you guys to hear, so, <sighs> Without further ado, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and we'll get right on into it. I look at from the screen, stretch, and put away my phone droid. Oh, I need to... I don't have much to do, so I stare out at the scenery. That leaves the, uh, the leaves rustle above my head. There are no students in the courtyard lawn or in the informatics classroom nearby. As for the sports clubs, they've gone to practice at the Nakatane Cho Central Athletic Park 20 minutes away from here. All I can hear are the cries of the crows and other small birds, the gentle sound of the plants rustling in the cool breeze. The school is quiet after hours. It's almost as though time itself has stopped. Or perhaps time has left this place behind. Maybe it's not just the school, but maybe the entire island has been left behind. <laughs> So that should be that should be pretty close to uh, my voice, if not a little bit louder. Akio leaves the club room and walks over to me. I guess she heard me talking to myself. This place is being left behind by time. I feel like I was left behind in a bad mood. Oh, scientific! She really shouldn't admire me. Another way to say it is. 俺はこれからどうしようって思っただけだったりするんだけどこれからどうするかなんて決まりきってるよアキオ points her finger up at the sky <笑>なんとしても部費を手に入れるそして今年中にガンツクワンを完成させるの Yeah, gun build one. That's the little、uh, robot, right? The little yellow robot that we saw at the beginning. In April, Akiho made an important declaration, her words, not mine, as president. Of course, it was only、uh, me there. The plan is to complete Gun Barrel Prototype Model 1, Gun Build 1, within the year before we graduate. And so she requested a tenfold increase to our budget out of nowhere. The VP flipped out and banished us here. No, it's not that I'm saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. その後どうなるのかなってこと。みんなつる。There are no colleges here. If you want to go to one, you've got to leave the island. As for work, going off the island is the only choice. I've lived here my whole life. I've left for vacations and whatnot, but I've never lived off the island. I have no particular aspirations to leave either. It's more a vague sense of insecurity at having to leave at all. うん。うん。考えたことないな。You haven't given your future plans much thought as a senior in high school. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are in high school, give your future thought before you freaking graduate. Not like, oh man, I got like eight months until I graduate. I guess I should probably think about college. What the frick are you on, mate? Come on, Akiho, you can do better than this. You, 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 are, you are better than this. I believe, Akiho. Especially when you're like living on a small island, you just don't. <laughs> well, when I graduate, I guess I'll do something. That's it. Freaking heck. Uchiwa, now, I'm in love with you. They, 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 they graduate in March, right? So, that's like eight, yeah, that's like eight months. April, May, June. Yeah, that's nine months. That's like nine months until they graduate, if that. 
今っていうかもうずっとでしょでもそれにうつつを抜かしてて浪人だなんてことになったら目も当てられないよ何しろロボットを完成させた後も俺たちの長い人生は続くわけだからね I mean, he's right. Cynical, but he's right. Completing it doesn't mean that we will all live happily ever after world credits. We got a regular lives to live. Ma, not a yoni, not a t h i n True. Some people think, oh man, I'm gonna complete this big, big project and then I'll be set, but that's not how, that's not how it works, mate. Why are we talking about something so boring?、Um, because it's kind of important. <laughs> なえるのは確かだねもっと希望的観測のもとに突き進むべきだと思うよ problem, future, dream, right? like, more, beyond that one dream, right? なんだったら走りますかどこへ夕日に向かって自分が走りたいだけでしょしかもまだ夕日なんて出てないし、okay. <笑>気分だよ気分アキちゃんってたまに根性論唱えるよねじゃなくて諦めなければ願いはきっと叶うんだって人はそれを根性論と言うんだよアキちゃんキャラ性能のせいで始まる前に勝敗が決まっちゃってることもあるって覚えとくといい。There are people who are skilled at、uh, one specific character that can beat up another character that has a type advantage. Just say it. Seen it done. I play Pokemon. I know. I know. Get that speed stat up. You get that perfect、uh, combination of, of items and、uh, strategy. You can, you can make a Pokemon with a type disadvantage to de- defeat one with、uh, you know, that advantage. So it's entirely true that I've done no prep when it comes to what I want to do after high school. I blame it on the illusion that time has stopped on the island. It just makes you forget about the future entirely. Wait, he hasn't done it either and he's asking her questions? What a hypocrite. Come on, mate. You, ended up thinking,、uh, you end up thinking that things will go on like this forever. That's a, that's a bad mindset to have, though, because you need to make sure that you have future plans. And I don't mean that in the sense that I hope these perfect days will never end or whatever. When time stops, so does your ability to think. And yet, even when you realize this is the case, it's still a pain in the ass to try and think about what comes next. In the end, I don't care what happens as long as I keep gaming. That's how I continue putting、uh, everything off. <laughs> Did I just get massive bass for some reason? Oh, we got the, the, the back. She's got like that fanny pack on the back. What's that on her? The, that little keychain? It looks like a lion and a c o p h a g r i g u s put together. Akio stretches as though she's、uh, putting a period on the conversation. De sa, kore kara sebi no tameni, hanga a iko to motte run da kedo na. I think about going to the hangar for maintenance. Alright, the robot club has its own hangar. The dream that Akio and the robotics club have been working on is stored. Gan batte yo, bucho san. Kai mo isho ni kite yo. <笑>だったら分かってるでしょまたやるの当然いつも言ってるよね俺を従わせたいなら勝負に勝ってもらわないと、yeah. キルバラ一本勝負やるええー Akio replies unenthusiastically and takes out her phone droid and rescues her. Uchiga Katara, Hontoni Yuko to Kite Moraukara, ne? Kate Tara, ne? Zero Ju de a Nida Rokido. As you're zero ten. Oh. Odds are winning. There's a zero percent chance that Akio wins and a hundred percent chance that I walk away the victor. I chuckle myself as a boot up kill ballad. That's like, uh. 
I don't know, mate. あきこ。少しは腕上がったか。見せてもらうよ。手加減なしだからね。これで負けたら400連敗。それだけは。400 <laughs> no. I don't I I want her to win. God damn it. Oh, oh see, okay. It is so I just confirmed that I do have to press it first off. I'm I'm sure this will get more difficult later on. But um I'm using a PlayStation controller, and they want me to hit X and A, but there is no A, which means it's going off of Xbox controls, I think? Which is just weird. It's gonna confuse me later on, I'm sure. I just had to click two buttons and I won, guys. See, I'm, I'm great at video games. I didn't... Just like stall there for eight million years. <laughs> Aww. What a jerk. Why don't you just go with your friend to the hangar, mate? Like, come on. If he's if he's all talking like this, right? And he's like, I haven't thought about my future at all. I don't really want to do anything. Dude, this is this is what neats are made of, right? When you're talking about a neat, like I'm not exactly saying that I'm not one, right? But if you if you think about it, most neats are people who just, ah, I, well, I mean, I, I, I want to play some video games. And you don't hang out with your friends. You don't go and do anything. Obviously, he'll be forced to later, but like... So far, he seems like a pretty bad friend. Like, seriously. I'd rather just lay under this tree than help you with a robot thing. Even if you think that the robot thing's gonna fail, I mean, come on, hang out with Aki. Look at it. Look how sad she is. Why do you do this? <laughs> She's adorable, though. Those, those cute. Akio suddenly starts ruffling my hair with both of her hands. She's always been like this. Whenever she gets too frustrated, she messes up my hair. What did my hair ever do to her? I mean, that's, that's pretty reasonable. I mean, just, hey, to be fair, that's way better than like a, a, a sundere, where they like punch you in the face. Like, would you rather her do that than mess up your hair? Come on. You never go easy on me. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, I would have totally lost that one because I just sat there and I pressed the wrong button. I guess I did press the right buttons the first time, though. Plus, my fighting game philosophy is always to go full power no matter who I'm facing. I mean, I can get that. Like, as as someone who plays Pokemon, when I when I play Pokemon in a competitive setting, that I, I, I it's hard to go easy on somebody. I totally get it. But at the same time, you should just go with her to the hangar. Like... Be a good human being. I get like, maybe doing this, winning, being like, haha, okay, let's just go anyway, but... I watch with a wry smile as Akio stands up and storms off into the distance. Because I've done the same thing before, like, uh, where, uh... Did he go anyway? Then I, I, then I might take my, my words back. Okay, I think he did it anyway. Never mind, I take that back. All right. Whenever I come here, I feel my spirit is being lifted. It makes me want to run like a dog, to be honest. Wait, you, you, wait. Is this the same, is this the hangar? Because if he's going to the hangar and he's like, this place fills my spirits, then why did you say you didn't want to go to the hangar in the first place? A heroic piece of music starts playing in my mind. If I'm not careful, I'll start hum humming it aloud. The old Tanegashima Airport. It's about a 10 minute walk from the school, and it's closed down 13 years ago and abandoned, so no one visits now. 
It hasn't been maintained for years, so the asphalt is cracked and we'd have moved in like they own the and weeds have moved in like they own the place. Weeds of You could have just say weeds have moved in like they own the place. Weeds of okay. That's an interesting way to put it. While spacious, there's not enough there's not much here. No electricity and it's flat, which means the wind is super strong. I end up having to hold my skirt Oh, we're playing it okay. Unless he's wearing a skirt, which is totally fine. People need to stop, you know, shaming other people for wearing clothes that they want to wear. I'm just throwing it out there. I end up having to hold my skirt down. Still, it's the perfect environment for the uh, robotics club's hangar. Ordinary high school students who would have never been able to acquire such a wide, flat piece of land with nobody in sight. The airport's apron in front of my eyes is the size of the sports ground, and even uh, and an even longer runway continues past it. From end to end, it's about 1,600 meters long. So, 1.3 kilometers? I mean, you could just say 1.3 kilometers. I mean... Or was it 1 point... Was it 1,300? Yeah. It takes around 30 minutes to walk the whole way. It's also many times wider than the standard road. Okay, 30 minutes? So, I mean, I guess if you're walking slowly... Bruh, it's not that... It's not that far. That's not even a kilometer and a half. 30 minutes is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? It should take maybe 20 if you're slow. The spacious sense of liberation is great, something you could never feel on a regular roadway. Right now, Kai's laying down outstretched in the middle of the runway, phone droid at hand. After I lost him quite soundly in our kill ballot match, Kai decided to slack away like no man has ever slacked. But you know what? He still came with me instead of going home, so I can't be too mad. Okay. So he's actually not that bad. He's just like, he might not be that interested, but he still came. Okay, I can respect that. You know, I can respect that. He's just shy as all. <laughs> but uh, it does seem that way for sure. I think I think he 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 digs hanging out with Aki. I mean, he wouldn't put cat ears in a maid outfit and be like, haha, you know, on, on, on just anybody. You know, I mean, maybe he would, but I just don't get the that feeling off of him. You know, he's not that big of a perv. I put those thoughts aside. Asides? Thoughts aside. Hmm. Hmm. And take out the key to my pocket. From my pocket. The robot club, robot club hangar is at the edge of the airport apron. It was originally a parking garage for vehicles used to refuel fire trucks and aircraft. And you might, you might ask, why are we using the airport's parking garage as a hangar? Patience. The reason is inside the building. It's a giant robot. That was weird. I say to myself as I raise the shutters and step inside. <laughs> it's so dusty in here, it's making me cough. With no windows to be found, it's fairly dark. Enshrined at the center of that dark space is the materialization of the robot club's sweat and tears. The life-size Gun Vero Prototype Model 1, nicknamed Gun Build 1. Oh, that's the big one. What's the small one called again? I can't remember what the little yellow guy is called. I can't remember. When the robot club was first founded eight years ago, it was the greatest goal. It's dream. A project to build a giant robot of justice, Gun Vero, at life-size. Also known as the Gun Build Project. It's still incomplete, so the upper and lower parts are kept apart, but it's, uh, it'll stand over 10 meters tall when done. The final goal is to have a pilot ride inside and move it. The club has been chipping away at this for eight years. Though to be perfectly honest, it hasn't moved it even once yet. One of the reasons it's taken so long is because high school clubs don't get much in the way of, of funding. I have a lot of respect for the founder for having uh, the foresight to build a huge robot before the robot boom started. I say that, but the founding member and creator of Gunbuild 1's blueprints is none other than my older sister. She's got serious negotiating skills. She founded the robot club, she also managed to acquire special permission to use this old airport. She even negotiated with the small workshops around the island so that she can get scraps for free. Heck, she convinced Joxa to give a, the club parts they didn't need anymore. That's th it's thanks to her that the robot club is still using the old airport hangar and working on Gunbuild 1 to this day. All around the world, huge companies are funding giant robot development. They obviously have deeper uh, pockets than us. 
Compared to their robots, Gunbuild 1 is a shabby, derpy looking and poorly performing relic. But I refuse to stop working on it. I want to complete it. This is the dream I inherited from the original members of the Robot Club, my sister's dream. Speaking of my older sister, she currently works at the company in Tokyo. She doesn't live on the island anymore. The current, and perhaps last, president of the Robotics Club is none other than me, her little sister. There's got to be some sort of meaning to all this. Maybe it's fate. It must be. Hmm. Damn, that's fucked, man. What the hell? What a sister is that? Okay, hold on. Her sister said that shit? That's just that's fucked up. Without thinking, I grab my chest. <coughs> it's tight. I feel like I'm throwing up. I shake my head and I slap my cheeks with my hands. I clench both my fists and psych myself up. I pull a can of oil from the shelf in the corner and pour it into the portable oiler. Even though Gun Build 1 has never actually moved on its own, I still can't slack on maintenance. In fact, without exception, the I, I bet past club members would all say that our main activity is maintenance, not building. You can't build something without parts, and we rarely get any of those. That's why there's such little progress on that end. So in light of that, we kill time doing maintenance. Still, Kai and I are the only remaining members of the robot club. It falls on me to do all the maintenance myself. Once a month, I spend about an hour chipping away at the task alone. While working, I'm free to do uh, free from unnecessary thoughts. I just want to finish this machine as soon as possible. Even that impatience is blown away, so I honestly don't mind this kind of work. You got it, you got it. With Oiler in hand, I crawl into the shin of the lower portion of Gun Build 1. It's about 1.2 meters high. See? Okay. 1.2 meters high, but you, could, you couldn't say like 1.3 kilometers long. See that? I, I, I'm just confused because now I'm like, so why don't you say like 1200 centimeters? You know? I just feel like if you said 1200 centimeters, it'd be the same as saying 1300 meters. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me. But from that high, I can see Kai lying down in the runway. I hold the oiler like a gun and aim it at Kai. <laughs> I thrust out my fist. Of course, the runway is several hundred meters away, and there's no way Kai's going to react. Aw, I undo my pose. I crawl into the knee of gun build one and pour oil into the joint onto the cam of the servo mo motor. I recall what Kai said earlier. I never really thought I'd hear uh, words like that from Kai, the guy who usually just games without a worry in the world. But quite frankly, I don't really get difficult stuff like that, and it's not like I have time to stop and think. This oversized child of mine, I need to complete Gun Build 1 no matter what. And if I don't finish him by graduation, there'll be no robot club members left to inherit the task of finishing him. That's why I need to complete Gun Build 1 with my own two hands and using the six months I have left. <laughs> Is this youth? Okay. I mutter the words of a certain someone in red whom I admire and continue pouring oil. <clears throat> I raise my eyes from my phone droid and see that the sky is darkened. It's the middle of summer and you're lying on asphalt? Isn't that like... How are you not burning alive? Are you- are you- or are you in the grass and it's just showing the airport runway? But like, if you're lying on asphalt in the middle of June... Well, almost the middle of June. June 10th. It's still probably pretty hot, is it not? I slowly rise up. I was too engrossed and didn't notice how much time had passed. My head's kind of hazy. I guess my mind will st uh, is still on the game. Those subtle screen cracks and that pseudo-heaviness in the input response are what I'm all about. 
because I was laying on the hard ground. My back hurts. I wonder if Akiho is still doing maintenance. I peek into the hangar, but I don't see any sign of her. But I can tell she's here, somewhere around the bottom portion of the robot below the knee. Akio had crawled into a tight space with a pen light in hand and is currently doing some sort of Man work. Did you? That was loud, okay. <laughs> hey, don't peek inside the room. <laughs> A crouching heavy cake, she's full uh, full of openings, so I could guard, counter, or and combo off a quarter of her life. Aki-chan, I don't think that you'd be able to see her. Like, look at her skirt. There's no way that you'd be able to, above her, see her panties. You know what I mean? The only way would be if her skirt rides up too much. But I don't think she'd let that happen. It doesn't make any sense, you know? Though I will say, doing maintenance and using oil with a white shirt on is a little bit sketchy. Like, I feel like Aki-chan doesn't quite know how this works, you know? You know how much that would stain your shirt? Like, come on. Hey, Aki-chan, I know I always say this, but I think you should stop doing work, uh, work in your uniform, okay? Okay, so he, he's got it too. Akio stores an old t-shirt and shorts in the club room that she could use for messy jobs, but she barely uses it. She went through the trouble of having work clothes around, yet she always forgets them in the club room. No no Akio keeps moving her hands and making excuses for herself. And that subtle job at the fact that I don't help. Okay, so is he saying that because uh, she's wearing a skirt or because she's getting oil all over her white shirt? Because I feel like getting oil all over a white shirt would be disastrous. Okay, okay, that's. He knows that's not They're medals of honor. Hmm. Yeah, but he's like, he's Looks like she's finished. Akio comes crawling out. She brushes off her duty uniform with her hands. I swear my... My, uh... Uh, headset is just being weird. She takes away at her pen light. She was probably just checking to make sure everything is still in order. うんね。うちの何が<笑> I mean, to be fair, ain't nothing wrong with that. See, this is the problem, mate. You need to stop putting guys in one category and girls in another category. See, my headset just changed again. Now, now it did. That's really weird. Um, but the girls are allowed to like cars, to like robots, to like, you know, heavy lifting and tough work and be who they want to be. Guys are allowed to do the opposite as well. They can like sewing and cooking and then generally female-oriented tasks just fine it's not like it's that big of a deal even clothing like people need to chill out with this whole guys do one thing girls do another thing we're all human beings at the end of the day we all have different likes and dislikes just let people be people and just all that shit needs to just like calm down a little bit <laughs> あれはゲームの腕は変態的だけど、それ以外は至って凡人のつもりなんだけど。ゲームしか興味ない会は十分変人でしょ。I mean, despite the self-deprecation, Aho's eyes are twinkling as she grasps my hand. Is this bro romance? Okay. What? She's Her hand is sticky with grease and she doesn't seem to care. Akiho starts nodding like she agrees with herself. 
After washing our hands, we close the garage shutters and lock up. There's, uh... Maybe it's because... Okay. Since there are no streetlights near the abandoned airport, it turns pitch black at night. Which is precisely why we need to leave before that happens. So yeah. As we walk, Aki Akiho suddenly pulls out her phone droid. The Fink toy attached to it swings back and forth, and it's grimy as he all heck. I keep telling her to replace it with a new one, but she keeps she says she has no intention of doing so. For realsies? For realsies? <laughs> Every day is a convenience store near our houses. The only convenience store in Minamitane Cho, actually. They started remodeling about half a year ago, so it's been closed. Did they turn it into a new store? Let's take a look on my phone droid. I uh, set up the Dumude map. Dumude? Whoa. Whoa. Google Maps is uh, taking quite the turn. I used the world virtual view function in Iru to look at Minamitane Cho. Sure enough, there's a Lonzo. Ne? Jupasent off da te. あ、シャッパーのウェイホームあ。でも、狭そう。ね、もう人が殺到してるかもよ。あ、ちょっと the anemone? Oh, Akio abruptly stops talking. Uh oh. The anemone, huh? Now there's an unpleasant name that I'd rather forget. Ah uh, man, I vaguely even remember this. I know they have that weird, like, psychological thing that they have going on, because obviously, Steins Gate, Chaos Head, that's the kind of the thing, is there's some sort of crazy shenanigans going on. Uh, potential world or multi-world ending scenarios, but... I intentionally changed the subject. For the last two or so weeks, Akio has been heading to the faculty room after school. I often say those words to Akio. She's always like this, overly optimistic. She's the opposite of me. Well, I, I'm extremely pessimistic. So. Every time Akio returns those words to me, she bashfully smiles. <laughs> Akio laughs in astonishment. Whenever we go to the hangar, we keep our scooters packed in the lot in front of the terminal. We live in Minam Minamitanecho in the south. School is 15 kilometers away, so commuting by scooter is allowed. I leave the key in, nobody around here would steal it, and walking around with it would be a pain in the ass. Masugukaru? You've got to not spoil your dinner there, Aki. This is the ritual before we ride our scooters. I always ask how she feels. If she's not well, we rest. And if she it still isn't feeling well after that, we leave the scooters hill and we go home some other way. She was involved in a scooter accident once. Her injuries were minor, but what if she had, uh, if they had been fatal? I straddle my scooter, putting on the ugly helmet required by the school, step on the kick paddle, and s start the engine. Akio puts on the tracksuit she left on the scooter handle, slips in the same ugly helmet, and we're ready. Time to head home. 
It takes around 40 to 50 minutes from, to get from the school to Akiho's house. By the time we arrive, uh, the sun is long gone. By the way, my house is really close, not even a minute away by scooter. After parking the scooter in front of the house, Akio takes off her helmet and waves to me. This is our unique greeting. It's the Tane Tanegashima dialect. It roughly means, let's meet again. Misane originally started using it as a code word, so Akio and I picked it up too. To be honest, it's not something that comes naturally. I have to intentionally use it. Only elderly people use that dialect these days. Akio sees me at, off as I head home. I cast my gaze up to the night sky. The northern region is stepped in red, almost like it's oozing blood. That's the aurora. It's not quite the same as the famous aurora. <clears throat> aurora, everyone knows. The beautiful one that's kind of shaped like curtains. Apparently an aurora takes on the shade of uh, color at lower altitudes. The sun is abnormally active now, and so this has led to the world being able to see Aurora since a few years ago. Back then, I mistook it for a wildfire or something in the distance, but now I'm totally used to seeing it. I don't really feel one way or another about it. The color in the sky is just another part of my everyday life. My ordinary, unchanging days. My life on this island repeating endlessly. It's hard to believe it'll all be coming to an end in six months, but for now, I'll focus on getting home and eating dinner. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode off, so make sure you guys hit that like button below for me and leave a comment in the comment section. Hopefully the uh, audio is a lot better in this episode. I kind of ch checked to make sure it wasn't too uh, bad, and we'll see you all next time.